So in this one, I want to show you guys how you can make this animation right here in Blender. And I haven't seen this in Blender yet, so I think it's really valuable. And you can make really cool MoGraph animation uh, in Blender. And it's quite simple. So here's the Geometry Node setup, and I'll just cover the basics. Um, if you want me to explain this more in depth, you can visit the Patreon where I talked about this for like 15 minutes. And it's really easy to follow follow. But yeah, let's just get started. So here I'm in a new scene and we have some keyboard over here. You don't have to use keyboard, but in this example, I just used the keyboard and you can just follow along. So let's just start with the animation. So I'll just create the new geometry node setup and bring my collection in here. So something like this, spray children and move it over here. So it's not overlapping and let's just get the basics. So um, we want to add a translate instances. So translate instances. And what we want to do is to move the ski caps on the Z axis. So upwards, uh, and we can do that over here, but we want to control this with some geo uh, with some object so you can use whatever object you want i'll just use plane for uh, right now and you can change it whatever you want so it's really flexible and that's what makes this animation really good but you will use uh, your plane or whatever you want and bring it uh, over to the setup and use the relative option so now if i add a position note and a geometric proximity right here and connect this to little things and bring my distance into tr trans 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 translation uh, now when I move it uh, something is happening but it's translating as you can see uh, it's translating um, on the x y and z uh, which is not what we want but if I bring uh, my combine x y z and set this one only to z now it's going to translate only on the z axis so we're getting somewhere but obviously this is not what we want and what you want to do is add a vector math so vector math and here are a couple of operations and what i found out is the scale works the best so use the scale and you can adjust it like the distance so you can adjust the distance uh, of the plane like the, of the effector like here's a field and you can adjust the scale of the field by adjusting this value. So make sure you uh, use a uh, scale, but now here's the important part. Uh, if you add a map range, and uh, this is what's gonna look, uh, make the animation look good. So now we added map range, something is happening and it doesn't look still all right. But if I play with these values and if I play with the minimal value, it's gonna adjust the strength and now if I play with the max value, now it's gonna play with the distance and you can use the distance over here as you can see. So you can adjust it however you want. But yeah, in a matter of like a couple of seconds or like minutes, we already got some really cool animation and you can move it now, you can scale it. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And in my original animation, what I just did is I created a circle, uh, I moved it to the corner and deleted the vertices, like so half of the vertices, I scaled it down and used the circle over here and I have to change my uh, my option over here to points because this geometry doesn't have any faces and now if I move this one you have to like the transition uh, going on so we made a really cool animation in just a couple of clicks and here's the setup so as you can see it's really like basic basic stuff uh, and you can really implement this uh, to rotation as well and you can use the same setup so just use rotate in uh, rotate instances uh, use the z axis uh, use a vector rotate because otherwise it vector rotate and now if you add a map range so basically it's the same stuff the only difference is I use a vector uh, rotate over here. And now it doesn't look quite all right, but if I zero out this value over here, the max value, it's gonna look all right. But now you want to play with these kind of settings. Uh, yeah, so play with these settings. And as you can see, 
as I play with these things and you don't want to touch this max value you just want to zero it out and now you can scale it upwards you know here's the distance so here's the distance here is the maximum rotation uh, and you can do this really cool effect now if you don't want the spacebar to be affected you can just select uh, the spacebar on the original mesh and move it aside so you just put it aside into the, like literally aside and if i bring it over here uh it's just not gonna be affected in the collection because it's in in a different different collection so as you can see it has some pretty cool results uh, you can do this one for scale even so you probably get the point um you, we're basically doing the same stuff over and over again just adding map range and using like a couple of settings so you can change a couple of settings and i have a lot of like issues trying to find the perfect value uh for this one so usually i just mess around until i find uh, what is working but let's just for this example let's just use something like this and it, it just scales uh, a little bit and you can even add a math to this so for example if you add a math um math change it to if you add a math wait a minute math and bring it to value scale you can even, like you can add some value like strength or decrease it um so yeah there's a lot of things you can do uh, because it's in geometry nodes you can do a lot of stuff but yeah this is pretty much the basic setup um uh, here's the geometry node setup so it's really simple and i go more in depth like i said on my patreon so uh if you want me to explain uh even more you can visit my patreon and yeah i talk about this uh, for like 15 minutes so it's really easy to follow but yeah that's pretty much it guys and i think this one is really valuable and if you make some really cool animations with this one uh, you can um you can mention me on instagram and i'm pretty excited if you guys will create with this kind of effect so yeah, uh, let me know if you didn't understand anything and if you want uh, anything uh, to be explained more in detail. But as I said, you can visit my Patreon. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can leave a like and you can visit my Instagram. And this is pretty much it. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some value out of this one, uh, as always. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace.